If a pap smear comes back abnormal, it's going to come back typically one of two things, either what's called an LGSIL or an HGSIL. LGSIL stands for low-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion, and HGSIL is high-grade squamous intraepithelial lesion. So an LGSIL we often refer to as a low-grade pap, and an HGSIL we refer to as a high-grade pap. Both of those are something that's going to attract more attention and probably require something called a colposcopy. They suggest that you have something called dysplasia, and what type of dysplasia you have will depend on what needs to be done, and so the colposcopy will help define that. Now, honestly, some LGSIL, some low-grade pap smears, are actually false positives, and so even though the pap smear comes back as low-grade, there may not really be any abnormality on the cervix. High-grade pap smears, HGSILs, are essentially always pointing to something abnormal, and that's usually some form of dysplasia, although rarely that can point to a cervical cancer. In fact, an HGSIL is uh, so indicative that there's something abnormal that if a colposcopy, which is the follow-up test, comes back normal, we basically don't believe it, and we look further because we figure we must have missed the abnormality. So the two kind of big categories of abnormal pap smears are low-grade and high-grade pap smears. Both of them are going to go uh, on to the same treatment of colposcopy, but with a low-grade pap smear, we don't, we're not surprised if the colposcopy comes back normal. With a high-grade pap smear, we know there's something abnormal in there. We're just making sure that you don't have a cervical cancer because that would change the treatment drastically. MedTwice.com